We think they're on hold for data dependency after the, after the December hike. Certainly, um, we're expecting two more. That would be the base case. But if the data does not um, support that, definitely the Fed could be dialing things back and waiting and seeing how the economy continues to roll into 2019. You know, it, it makes a difference, I think, too, how everything sort of I, we, we, we may be understanding a lot more about this, the equity market sell-off based on what you just said, because we thought everything was, you know, Goldilocks. We were rolling. We were, you know, we had, uh, you know, low inflation, low interest rates, great corporate profits, 3% uh, GDP, low unemployment, and suddenly the market sells off. Now we're all questioning the whole global growth picture all of a sudden. We're wondering whether the cycle's over. We're wondering, I mean, we, it really has shaken our confidence in everything we believed just six weeks ago, I think. Well, I don't think the cycle's over. I think the cycle's slowing. And we were already in a, a fairly moderate growth scenario. You've got the consumer still going strong. Uh, maybe a little bit of, of manufacturing. Corporate America has pulled back a little bit. Um, you have other parts of the world slowing slightly. But again, not to the point where we think there's any type of a recession looming in the near future. But slower growth is probably what we see on hand for 2019. So, Jim, um this, just commenting on where we are in the, it, with the stock market, I, I thought that this correction, which we've tested the low a few times, uh, it didn't shake the complacency initially. I'm starting to wonder whether it did shake some complacency now, because you're hearing more and more people say, uh, you know, Paul Tudor, Jill. I mean, there, there are people that are scared to death right now of where we are in the debt cycle, and suddenly we, it's almost 180 degrees from where we were two months ago. I mean, we've got more problems that, that we didn't know about two months ago than, than before. Maybe that's good. Yeah. that we made a bottom. It, it is a quick change uh, in sentiment. There's, I think there's no doubt about it, but markets tend to do that uh, to, to folks. The uncertainty factor has ratcheted up quite a bit. We, we're not really any closer to, to being done on trade concerns than we were before. Mexico and Canada were small potatoes. China is really the big, the big factor there. Add in some additional worries around, uh, around Brexit and peak earnings, uh, and here we are. I mean, it's typical late cycle rhetoric. The important thing, which we've already talked about, is, is there a recession on the horizon? We don't see it on the horizon. We do think the market can handle three and a quarter, three and a half, uh, dare well, I say. It doesn't have to today. Doesn't have to, doesn't have to today, which, is, which, is, pretty, which right. is pretty amazing. I mean, a diversification still works every time. This is, a good, this is good news, right? Every time the market has uh, run into trouble, every time the market has sold off, we have seen the diversification power of, of Treasuries kind of kick in, and, and here we are back again. But. Uh, you know, the, the good news is it, it can handle it, the, uh, th this longer for lower. Uh, the market's just kind of slowly getting used to the fact that uh, it can exist at 3.5% on the 10. I mean,